Good day everybody, welcome to another Raid Shadow Legends video, I'm Scratch, we have the 2x on the Soul Stone, so basically we have a double chance to summon a 6 star soul, now it doesn't affect the rarity or anything like that, and it only affects the small and medium stones. Now, we're gonna go and open all the, all the Soul Stones that I have guys, guess what happened, so probably if you guys had a chance to watch any of the videos with the new champions from the test server, whatever is coming to the game together with the fusion, uh, and stuff like that, you probably noticed that we have two mythical champions. Now, I decided to go on and YOLO 20 more primal shards before that happens, because we had a, a pack in the game. It was a very, very costly, very costly weekend, I would, uh, I would say. But I managed to summon my most wanted mythical champion, guys. And that is freaking Night Queen Crixia. Instant level up, instant bottom masteries for her, and uh, yeah, Super pump that I managed to, to get her. Now, I would love to get a 6-star soul. I'm gonna lie if, uh, if, uh, if I won't admit that. I, at the moment, I do have a 3-star soul, if I'm not mistaken, for her. I have a 6-star for Lazarius. Hopefully, one day we'll summon Lazarius too. Now, a 3-star doesn't really do much. Uh, to be honest, you kind of need a 5 or 6-star to really get the most value out of, the, out of the, the champion, you know? So, hopefully... Hopefully, we're going to be able to, to get something. If no, even for Alice, I would love to get a soul. He is uh, the other mythical champion that, uh, that I summoned. I don't have many soul stones. I actually haven't bought any of the soul stones. Uh, this is what I had saved up since uh, the last event. And I actually decided to transfer all of this currency, the coins, into soul stones rather than essence. You know, So I haven't uh, went in to buy the essence. Uh, instead, I decided to purchase five... Uh, uh, five uh, medium stones and basically pray uh, pray for the best. Now this is my wish list uh, right here, guys. I would love, I would love to get a Narcissus. I only have a one star for him. He did not pop in a, in shop for me for quite a while. And how I mentioned, the double chances only affect this. Basically, you're getting double chances to summon the six stars from here, and that's uh, that's about it. The big stones. Probably they won't be doing any for the big stones in the in the near future. Maybe if they are planning anything like that, it will be one year from now or something like that. You know, once they really milk the the whole um, the whole the whole player base. You know, uh, I don't really think they will do it though even later because it's already what a twenty five percent chance to summon a summon a six star from there. So making it a fifty percent chance, I don't think they will do that. Okay, okay. I still don't have that six stars here. Maybe, maybe, just maybe one day is going to happen. Now we do have a uh, soul chase tournament, guys. The small stones, if you hit the jackpot, is amazing because you're getting a lot of points. If you don't, you're barely going to scrap any rewards from the soul chase tournament. The, the rewards are really just not, uh, not that amazing. Maybe we're going to be able to purchase another, another medium uh, stone from here. Uh, with all of, all of the, the coins that we're getting for opening this. Okay, what do we have? Okay, we got a wish list right there, guys. A one star. Oh, and we have the first legendary, which is an Elder Skarg, a one star. I think I already have him uh, like at two, three stars, if I'm not mistaken. Tyrell, one star. I'll be honest, man. Like, the scam stones are the scam stones. You need to get extremely, extremely lucky to pull a six star on a champion that you actually have. We managed to get a 6-star on a rare champion that uh, uh, I probably will never use. And I never used her Interceptor, right? So it's going to be good food. We're going to sell that. We're going to get like, what, 100 coins or something like that out of it. Uh, wish list, Reliquary Tender. So we hit a 1-star on her as well. Okay, Ger uh, Gerhard, 1-star. One, uh, one and we got an Anchorite 1-star. What do we have? 20 more pops from here. Yeah, I think we're, we're, we're definitely going to be able to purchase one, uh, one more uh, medium stone. Those at least, they have a better, uh, a better chance at giving you some higher stars on, on, the, on the champions, you know? Castigator. Damn, this, this look awful for me. This look awful for me so far. <laughs> this look very bad, man. We got one legendary out of all of them and uh, a couple of low star epics. Definitely not, uh, not good for my... Uh, for my uh, champion chase tournament. There we go. We got a six star sentinel, which was on the wish list. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll definitely take that. I'm actually happy with that. I'm using sentinel in a cursed city, guys. 
uh, maybe some secret rooms that I stopped farming because there's no point to farm them anymore, but uh, probably something, uh, something like that. I cannot even remember, actually. So what is my Sentinel? I already had a three stars, so yeah, this, this was an upgrade. This was definitely uh, an upgrade for him, and I'm, I'm happy with this. I know he's a rare champion, but I had him on my wish list, so uh, let me just quickly uh, remove him from, uh, from the wish list because we don't need him there anymore. So you can, you can get out of here. We don't need you anymore. And now we can purchase one more medium one. I will do single pulls with these ones, guys. I'm just not, not filling the 10 pops with, uh, with the medium stones. I'll be very, very honest. It might be just my miserable luck usually with them, but I just, I don't know. They never, they never treat me good. Okay. Three star, uh, scale Ramis. I'm using him a lot as well in the Cursed City. He's actually super solid for a, for an epic champion. Super solid. Oh, we got an Itland, the golden six star. I like that. I like that. I'm actually using him as well in the Cursed City and I had him on the wish list. I'm actually super, uh, Super pumped with this. Why it never happened to Seer? Why it never happened to, to Seer, man? I would have loved it if this was going to happen to, to Seer at some, uh, at some point, you know? But hey, maybe, <laughs> maybe another time. Let me just add a basher in there, because uh, why not? Okay, okay. That looks good. We, we got a six star for an epic, at least, if we're not getting anything. Uh, it's, it's better than I usually get anyway. So, oh, four star Krisk. Okay, nice, nice. This can go on my second Krisk, where I only have three stars, because the, the main Krisk is already at four stars. So I guess I can, uh, I can use this, definitely. Definitely. Okay, what do we have in here? Three shield knot, four star, beautiful. Uh, I was thinking to put him on the wish list before. Uh, I don't remember what awakening I have on him, but I'm definitely going to, to use it. A three star Atur. Good provoker for the Magma Dragon, guys, if you don't really have any, any better champions to get the job done, you know, but yeah, he's not, he's not an insane, uh, insane champion. Kyria 3-star is an OG rare champion. I used to run her in my clan boss team like five years ago, my god. <laughs> A Guardian, 4-stars, uh, four come on, give me something that will make me collect all the rewards in that champ chase tournament game, please. Ooh, six star wood painting. Look at that. We are hitting the wish list on epics today, ladies and gentlemen. Like never before. This never happened to me before. Okay. Okay. I'm actually happy with that. I'm actually happy with that. I know I'm not getting the legendaries or mythicals, but hey, at least I'm hitting the wish list on some champions that I've intentionally added to, to the list, you know? So that's actually quite a bit of a difference because usually, how I mentioned it before, it just doesn't. It just doesn't happen, man. You just don't get them, you know. Who should we add on the on the wish list here right now from the from the epics? Who else am I really using a lot in the in the cursed series? Uh, I think Miss Strider, Dighty. I can't remember if I have an awakening for that bad boy. Sea Chalk, another good option. Uh, let's go with Sea Chalk. I think for Miss Strider, Dighty, I might have some uh, awakening already. So we have three more chances to summon a. Uh, Legendary or a, or a mythical game, please do not let me down. Pretty please, cherries on top and all the good stuff. Oh my god, three star wish list again. <laughs> okay, I'll take Hexia. She hits super hard, guys. Like, uh, she hits extremely, extremely hard. She can one shot champions in the Cursed City. That's what I'm running her, of course. But she hits really, really hard. And the last summon, guys. Let's see what are all these soul stones getting us in a champ chase tournament. Okay, another rare champion. So, I'm not expecting to get a lot of rewards from the champ chase tournament, unfortunately. But you know what? Let me just use this three star on her since uh, I haven't managed to summon a, a better one. So at least she has some sort of a, of a blessing. Krisk getting the four star treatment, getting 160 coins back from it. I need to keep all these, uh, all these souls that I summoned and I'm planning to sell in the near future because... Uh, it will be very important for my missions. You know, make sure you guys are not just selling them right now. You will need to sell, uh, I think, 350 award. Uh, you need to sell souls in uh, the value of 350 coins, you know, immortal coins. So make sure you guys are not uh, just selling everything. We're going to use this, yeah, six star. This was going to be very, uh, very good for, uh, for what we were uh, doing with her, you know, to get a better healing and stuff. Hexia, three star. She's getting the attack. She will be hitting even harder. Uh, who else we got? Anchorite. We had a one star. Let me just use it. 
But I feel like, yeah, we got the epics, which is uh, which is definitely uh, a good thing. You know, I have a few more six star for this epics that uh, I'm not really planning to use at the moment. Four star on three shield, not. That's nice. He's a pretty good reviver, especially if you need him for uh, for faction wars, guys. Definitely don't uh, don't sleep on that uh, on that champion, you know. And what else we have right here? We have a Venomage five star. I have a few different five stars and a few six stars that I'm probably going to consider uh, in selling in the in the near future. The main thing is that um, I'm waiting for uh, for the missions, you know. And I feel like the next wave of missions might require us to sell higher uh, higher. Uh, Source. I haven't actually looked to to see, but Itland the Golden. I'm not even sure why I don't have him here. I don't think I have a six star for that bad boy already. This is his dupe. Ah no, there it is. He's not fully ascended. Okay, I need to finish to fully ascend him and put a six star on him. So yeah, we managed to hit the the wish list on Epics, guys, which is definitely not a not a bad thing. Now let's see what are we getting from uh, the Soul Chase tournament. I reckon we got like 500 points if we're lucky. Okay. Oh whoa 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 whoa. Whoa, we got double than I thought. Okay, I'll take that. We got a void shard. That's kind of like usually my goal for these uh, for these tournaments because I don't I don't buy soul stones anymore, guys. Like they're scam stones. Okay, they're literally one one of the biggest ripoffs in the game. At least that's my experience with them so far. I never summon anything from them when I buy them and stuff. So every now and then, when I manage to save a few like these, I open them. If I get lucky, I do. If no, I'm just waiting and waiting for the for the actual shop and just purchasing the soul that I want. I purchased Warlord from 0 stars to 6 stars. I purchased Marichka and Taras from 0, st uh, zero stars all the way to 6 stars. I purchased Yumeko from zero, no, from 1 star all the way to 5 star. Now I'm waiting for the 6 star, you know, and then I'll be moving over to King Narses, Sifi, Rotos, Georgid. Uh, it is what it is, you know, if, if, you're, uh, if you're lucky with them and... Uh, it, is just vibing with you and you're getting the, the champions that you want is great. Go and do whatever. But personally, I'm just not purchasing them anymore because I never get anything that I need from uh, from them, you know. That was all for the video, guys. Hopefully you will have better luck with uh, with your summons. Maybe you're going to get a nice legendary, a nice mythical or something, uh, something crazy like that. Appreciate every single one of you guys watching and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.